Unless you're a veterinarian or a zoologist, it's not always easy to know what to do if you come across an injured animal. Knowing their life hangs on the line certainly makes matters worse. When Raul Sharma peered over his second floor terrace and spotted a baby squirrel lying on his doorstep, he knew he had to help before it was too late. Only he wasn't sure how to do that. Luckily, he found a creative way to help the poor thing. As he nursed it back to health, however, something unexpected suddenly happened. For animal lovers, there's rarely any doubt as to what to do if you encounter an injured animal. You have to help. Of course, it's also not always easy to know what your next step should be during such an intense moment. Such scenarios require quick thinking. Not only does an injured animal's life depend on you, but they often have no way of knowing that you're there to help. Obviously, it's a delicate process, but thankfully, some people are up to the challenge. Just take Raul Sharma, for example. Recently, he was enjoying a cup of tea on his terrace when he peered down to see an injured baby squirrel lying on its back on his doorstep. He instinctively sprung into action. Realizing time was of the essence, Raul ran downstairs before another animal could come and make a meal of the little rodent. He carefully plucked the struggling squirrel off the ground and brought it into his home. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now back to the story. Raul noticed that the baby squirrel had likely fallen from its nest on a nearby electric pole and into a dirty drain. He cleaned the animal with a soft cloth and tried to make it as comfortable as possible, although the little guy was clearly still weak. It looked extremely stressed and could not muster up enough energy to jump out of my hands, Raoul, who was not a native English speaker, wrote. And after a few minutes, it quietly surrendered itself as somewhere deep inside it knew it was in safe hands. Soon, Raoul, who works as a professional photographer, not only decided to make it his mission to nurse the baby squirrel back to health, but he also chose to document the entire recovery process. After performing some online research about nursing squirrels, Raoul headed to a local pharmacy to purchase a dropper. He'd be able to use it to feed the baby squirrel some much-needed milk. Raoul watched several videos describing how to administer the food and then immediately got to work feeding his new pal. I fed it some milk through the dropper, which it thoroughly relished, he wrote. After the first round of milk, Raoul shared some pictures of the baby squirrel on social media. Instantly, he began receiving words of encouragement from fellow animal lovers, though he knew there was still much work to be done. Realizing his squirrel friend needed a cozy place to recover, Raoul fashioned a makeshift bed from a shoebox and cotton balls. He also continued to give the squirrel milk every couple of hours, and not long after, the little guy began to feel comfortable around him. Later that day, after Raoul noticed the squirrel had regained some energy, he decided to take it outside for some air. Once outside, as the tiny critter climbed on his arms and shoulders, something magical happened. Another squirrel approached them. It had barely come down from my shoulders when I noticed a squirrel approaching towards me, Raoul wrote. I quickly understood that it was the mother of this cute little baby. Understandably, the mama squirrel seemed unsure about the strange human holding her lost baby. I could clearly feel that she was afraid of me, but that didn't stop her from coming close to me, Raoul's post continued. She looked at me intently and then softly touched my hand as if graciously thanking me for saving her baby's life, Raoul said, adding that in that moment he was suddenly overcome with emotion. After showing Raoul some gratitude, the mother squirrel knew it was time to bring her baby back to the nest where it belonged. And just like that, she picked it up in her mouth and headed for a nearby fence. But Raoul's mission wasn't over just quite yet. As the mother carried her baby away, he decided to see them off, following behind with his camera as they went. The mother, still carrying the baby in her mouth, wasted no time heading for home. Tears trickled down my cheeks, experiencing such an amazing moment of unconditional love between a mother and a child, Raoul wrote. I am so pleased with myself that I managed to capture this incredible moment in my camera, which would forever hold a special place in my heart. 
The mother squirrel made her way to a pole at the end of the ledge and quickly started climbing towards her nest. All the while, Raoul couldn't help but feel both happy and sad at the reunion. And just like that, the mother squirrel had taken her baby home to safety. What an amazing journey! Just watch the mama squirrel's reaction when she first realizes Raoul is holding her long-lost baby. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.